that tomorrow it'll all be over. I don't understand. Well, the coroner announced that after you left, you'll be the first to testify. You'll be fine. Just tell the truth. I'll be there for you. I should go. You don't want me here tonight. I should go home. No. Please. Stay. No, I can't. I can't. Mm. What was it? I don't remember. You called out her name. It was Carla. She was standing by the bed and she was watching. Helen, isn't it? 
I'm Paul Waveney. You were on holiday with Carla, weren't you? We met there, yes. I've got a villa on the island. Carla must have told you all about me. No, not really, no. I'm an old friend of her and Daniel's. changes to today's schedule. As a result, can I first call Mr. Daniel French? We'd long for a baby so much. When Carla miscarried, we were devastated. She became very depressed. I'd have done anything. I just couldn't seem to reach her. I planned a holiday for us both, but I got home one night and found she'd gone. Without telling you? We were both under a lot of stress. We'd had this stupid row. But nothing that serious. You know, it was nothing that we could... Take your time, Mr. French. At first I thought she'd gone to a friend. She used to do that now and then. She'd always ring me. Following morning, I was, I was panicking. I was just about to contact the police when I got a call from an old friend, Paul Waveney. He has a holiday home on Kithra. She'd flown out there. Was she staying with him? Mr. French? No, no, she went to a hotel. She didn't ring you? No, no, I only spoke to Paul. Were you worried about her state of mind? Of course, of course. But I didn't know. It was the morning of a big concert, and there was no way I could just pull out. Paul said she was fine. He said he'd keep an eye on her. I flew out there as soon as I could. When exactly did you arrive on the island, Mr. French? May the 7th. It's the night she died. It was late and, um... I was shattered. I decided to have an early night and see you the next morning. If I'd seen her straight away, maybe she'd still be alive today. Mr. French. Thank you. Mr. Paul Waveney. I couldn't tell you before, I couldn't even let them get to myself. Don't. It was my fault. No, I could have stopped her staying with Matt. I could have made her come back to the hotel. I received the call from Carla saying she was catching the next plane out. Had she given you any warning she was coming? No. no. But I wasn't surprised. Carla could be very impulsive. She and Daniel had argued, and so she, she just took off. They'd been having these uh, vicious rows. Daniel totally ran their relationship. He had all these terms and conditions. He told Carla that he never wanted children. He was so angry when she got pregnant that she felt that she couldn't go through with it. She was convinced that he'd leave her. Carla didn't have a miscarriage. She had an abortion. He as good as made her, and she never got over it. You're aware that you're seriously contradicting Mr. French's testimony, Mr. Waveney? Yes. How was Mrs. French when she arrived? Brittle. Hugely distressed. You were concerned about her state of mind? Very. Why didn't you make her stay at your villa with you? She insisted on going to a hotel. But you'd 
told her husband you're very worried about her. Mr. Waveney? Carla liked to flirt. She needed to be needed. It had never gone anywhere with us, but I think she